Good morning. A Monday short video for you. This is just going to be two holes. This is going to be a strange hole and a hard hole. This is number 14. This is the strange hole. It's 344 yards, so it's a piece of cake, right? Well, not really. You've got to go up this slope behind me. And what you need up that slope is loft not necessarily your driver. I know many people do take driver here. I don't, I go for loft. And the reason I go for loft to get over this hump is on the other side, there is a flat area, or flat-ish. And it's about the size of a tennis court, probably less than a tennis court, actually. Now in the summer when the ground's hard, you can't find that area for love and the money. The ball's just gonna bound on and roll and go down the bank. It's strange that you've got this hole where you can't find the fairway. But now it's November, the ground's soft, I got a chance. Now I could describe all the slopes over the top of this hill. Best thing to do is to play the hole and show you them. Well, it's 154 yards to that marker post, but it plays 172. And I'm going five wood. Really wanted a little fade on that but I've hit it straight left. Little left of the post, not ideal. But as Radar says on Sky Sports, that's in the mayor's office. And I have no idea what the hell that means. Well, here we are at the top, looking down on the tee in the 13th green. And this is a horrible pan because we're on a terrible slope. There's the pond by the 17th. Try and flatten it out a bit. And there's that flattish area. And now that it's autumn, my ball stopped on it. But you can see the edge of the horizon where you go steeply down the bank. Glad to have avoided that. That's why I don't take driver. There's the green, bit of a slip trench bunker on the right. And if you miss it left and hit that bank, then it shoots across into the hedge. 128, going 8 iron, and I've hit it fat. Tad fat. Yeah, that fat, I didn't even get it on the green. But we've got a short game. And that's rather tidy. And if you look at the slopes behind me, you wonder how can you have a hole that's so short and yet still impossible to find the fairway. Not bad for an old man. So, we've played the strange hole. Now for the hard hole. It is of course the 17th. 200 yards roughly. We've got lost ball down the right. Beyond that we've got the pond. There's two bunkers left. There's a steep bank down, which we can use admittedly to help us get the ball on the green, but landing it short and running it on. <sighs> but it's stroke six and I don't get a shot here. And this isn't the back tee. That's the back tee. Now that back tee is used so rarely only for special tournaments. I think I've played it once since we joined here in February 2020 and it's November 2022 so you can see uh, it's been a little while since I've been up there so let's play it up there. I think I'm going to need a three wood. Right well I've just lasered it. It's 217 yards and I'm in front of the actual white marker here. I've moved forward a yard so you can I can fit the camera in behind the tee box. Yeah, this is scary. Now, quite a few years ago, I came up here as a team. We were playing against Lillybrook and we were on this tee. We came down the path and it was right at the back and it was over here on the right-hand side. We were one down. We were playing foursomes off scratch. The guy I was playing against, the guy I was driving against, so to speak, he had a four iron. 
into the wind, into the heart of the green. I hit three wood into the left hand bunker, we made a bogey, we lost two and one. I got a few balls down here because it might take a few balls to actually get one out there in play. Let's see if I can actually beat the bogey that I had on that day with my playing partner and see if we can get to the 18th tee, one down instead of losing two and one. Holy shit, where was that 12 years ago when I needed it? I've just come off 17, there's a group behind, I've just heard a ball land. Right, wish I'd done that 12 years ago in that match. Would have at least gone to the 18th tee, one down, and you never know, they might have hit one out of bounds and we could have halved the match. Unlikely though. To be honest though, going back there at 2.15, where you got a little bit of breeze in your face, and you can take either a five wood or a three wood and hit it firmly, make a positive swing that's far better than when the tee's forward at say 195 or 187 if the flag's on the front. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, a guy off 30's just hit the big tree here. It's flown over my head and into the pond. So yeah, when that tees forward and you're thinking, is it a five iron, is it a four iron, is it the hybrid? Am I going to try and hit it onto the green? Am I going to leave it short and run it onto the green down that big slope? I think with that kind of doubt in your head, that's when you make mistakes. So to go onto that back tee and hit a full shot, that suits me just fine. Cheerio. One for the fans there, Simon. That's on you. 195 or 187 if the flag's on the front. <laughs>